Hi guys. I said I was going to do a lot more um, writing stuff on this channel and then I never did anything and I'm really sad about that. So today we are rectifying that and I'm going to start a series that I'm calling Attic Notebook. So this is a symbolic notebook because it was the first thing I could find. It is not the actual notebook I'm going to be using. I don't actually think I'm going to be using a notebook. I think I'm going to be writing it on the computer. However, I wanted a notebook so we can have this one. Um, so basically what an Attic Notebook is, this is a thing that I saw from Rani Taylor. And basically it is a notebook that you have and you write random prompts and you write every day for 20, 30 minutes, however long you want to. And you just write to a random prompt. You don't give yourself too much um, time to think. You don't give yourself too much time to like plan. You just start writing and you see what comes from that writing. And then once you've finished writing, you go on to the next page and then the next day you put in the next one. And essentially you, once you finish writing in the notebook, you put that away in the attic for a year and you don't touch it and then you come back to it and you can see what you've wrote and it can potentially give you vibes and ideas for when you're writing something bigger. So I want to kind of do that but I'm going to do mine in a little bit of a different way. So last year, very early on in the year, I got my friends to give me prompts and this was ages ago and I got loads and loads of prompts. I essentially said, give me your favourite tropes. Now, some of them gave me really, really basic tropes like um, enemies to lovers, the one bed trope. Um, some Lisa <laughs> gave me some that I couldn't do. However, there are some really, really interesting ones in here. And I genuinely do not remember what most of them are. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Um, so what I'm going to do to spice things up a little bit more as well. I am going to take two prompts and I'm going to try and add them together. Um, so I know that there's like stuff like fairy tale retelling. I know that enemies to lovers, friends to lovers is in there, types of things like that. But I don't know. I haven't looked at this for ages. So I thought I dropped one. I didn't. Uh, let's pick out this one and let's pick out this one. So this one is Trials. Can you see that? And then this one. Oh, this actually works really, really well together. Um, it is Training Montage. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself um, some time to write something up. And I'm going to do that and I'm hoping to do like a video like this once a month maybe of um I'm not promising that but like I would like to do it every so often where I just like kind of pull a couple of prompts and I start writing them and I put them up and I kind of give you like the idea of what I'm going to do so it is half past seven on a very very stressful Sunday why I decided I'm going to do this now is anyone's guess apart from the fact that I don't have a video planned for tomorrow so I'm going to go and start writing and yeah, come join me. We have moved to the room where I'm going to be writing. So I'm opening up a new Scrivener project. Um, Scrivener is my um, writing tool that I use. Um, and I'm just going to basically start. I'm going to give myself um, 25 minutes, I think, because it's, eh, I'll wait until um, 22 and I'll give myself um, 20 minutes. And yeah, essentially, all I have to do is sit and write about trials in a training montage style, which I think kind of works perfectly together because I feel as if if you're going to have trials, you should have a training montage. So we're going to see how this is. This works. Um, no, let's let's go now. I'm going to go and I'm just going to go until eight. So let's let's start.
I just finished. Um, I finished a little bit earlier than the 20 minutes. However, I got to a point where it was like quite a natural stop. So I did that. Um, yeah, it is basic as anything. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's quite basic. Um, very, I had 20 minutes to write it, but it's interesting and I would love to see these characters and where it goes. It accidentally became gay. Did not plan for it to be a little bit like rivals to lovers -y, but it feels a bit rivals to lovers -y, which I don't kind of hate. Um, but yeah, it is very, very basic tra training montage, um, which was basically just a fight because 20 minutes and then the trials it talks about working towards trials and it's kind of like the first trial so i think that really works um i had a lot of fun doing this it's been a while since i've like just wrote to write so that's really really fun um i did not expect to write this now i was just going to do like a, hey this is what i'm gonna do and then i realized like that was gonna be a two minute video and i was like mm, I definitely don't think that that's going to be enough. So I decided to do this here. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of a montage of me writing um, uh, intro. And this is going to be the outro. But I'm excited. Let me know down below if there's any tropes you would like to see added to the um, pot. Um, I, like I said, I don't know what's in there now. So it might be that there might be a repeat. But this is a lot of fun. And I'm going to just kind of continue to do this probably for like a little while I don't know I'm de definitely not doing this every day but I'm going to try and do like a couple a week maybe not for a vlog and I'm just going to like write some things and then I might like close this off for a year like after I've got like maybe 50 like entries shall we say I don't know we'll figure that out but yeah thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it bye guys